All right, Java substring. Today we're going to learn about Java substrings. There's not a whole lot to cover with this because it's it's relatively uh, straightforward. But uh, basically, a substring in in Java or any language, I guess, is just a you know a, se a section of a string, um, and you, you can specify the the starting point of the substring and the ending point. So um, <clears throat> you'll you basically specify these indi indices, and it's it's um, not all that different from uh, you know taking a like like a slice of an array or something. So um, we're we're just gonna jump right into a demo and uh, you know show you how this works. So let's see, I am going to uh, oh yeah, and so if you wanted to, well yeah, you know what, you can't even see this uh, document on the right here all that well. So I'm just gonna go straight ahead and just uh, put this example in here. All right, so here's our example code. Now. Um, what this does, it gives us. A, we, we're going to start with a string. Uh, this string is. Uh, this is a string that I made up, so nothing too creative there. Save to the variable x. Now, if you first thing we're going to do is take a substring starting at index ten, and assign that to variable a. So that's a new string in variable a. We're going to create another string in variable b. Um, by taking a substring of x starting at five in moving to 15. So the first one we go from 10, position 10 to the end of the string and for the second one we're starting at position 5 and only going up to position 15. And then we're going to print each of those substrings out. So um, not a whole lot going on there. Uh, let's save the file and let's let's demo this. So Java C to compile it and Java to run it. So the first one string that I made up so you, you know as you can see that's the tenth character right there um, all the way to the end of the string including the period string that I made up now the second line that it prints is just says is a string and stops right there before the G that's because it starts at position number five and say is a string and stops right there position 15 so there you go that's pretty much it um, so, so we've got like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, four, and that's your starting point, is. And then you have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's the point where you stop. Now it's not inclusive, so you're going to stop right before 15. So how we're, you know, it so includes spot number 5. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's, no, no, sorry about that. It is not including five. So it's not including position number five or position number fifteen. Or sorry, sorry, I take that back again. Um, so it is including five, but you're starting at zero. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, and that it, it includes this character. So that's inclusive. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So starting at zero, this is the 15th, this is index 15, and it excludes that. So it starts at five and includes the character at position five, and it ends at 15, but it excludes the character at 15. That's basically how that works. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's um, substrings in Java. That's uh, basically how they work and how you would take a string um, you know starting at one position going to another position or starting at one position and going to the end of the string so that's how substrings work in Java that should pretty much probably answer all of your questions hopefully um, feel free to give us a thumbs up um, subscribe for more videos like this hit the little bell icon so you get an alert when we come out with a new video and you are going to probably want to leave any comments or questions down below we want to know what you think um, you know if you if, usually I try to get back to people's comments I try to read at least everything and comment on uh, and, and I try to reply to m most questions and, and comments um, eventually anyways but yeah definitely we do want to know what you think so definitely do leave a comment down below and uh that's it for today hopefully you found this useful hopefully you enjoyed this video um and that that's it we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching